हाय वेलकम टू द नाइन्थ लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर थर्मोडायनामिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द पॉइंट गिव्स फ्री एनर्जी इट इज डिनोटेड बाय कैपिटल जी एंड इट इज डिफाइंड एज जी इज इक्वल टू एच माइनस टी एस वेयर एच इज द एंथेल्पी एंड एस इज द एंट्रॉपी ऑफ ए सिस्टीम एंड टी इज द टेम्परेचर नाउ इफ वी लुक एट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ गिप्स फ्री एनर्जी द टर्म्स इन्वॉल्व इन इट दैट इज एच एंथेल्पी टी टेम्परेचर एस एंट्रॉपी ऑल दीज आर द स्टेट फंक्शंस इट मीन्स दैट दे डिपेंड अपॉन द इनिशियल स्टेट एंड फाइनल स्टेट ऑफ ए सिस्टीम एंड नॉट ऑन द पाथ फॉलोड बाय द सिस्टीम therefore gibbs free energy is also a state function so in the last lecture we have studied helmholtz free energy that helmholtz free energy is also a state function and now gibbs free energy is also a state function now suppose if the system passes from one state to another state the change in g that is delta g is given by see delta g is equal to g2 minus g1 okay so from the definition of gibbs free energy we can write for g2 h2 minus t2 h s2 and for g1 h1 minus t1 s1 okay now delta g is equal to we have taken in bracket h2 minus h1 minus in another bracket t2 s2 minus t1 s1 so we get delta g is equal to h2 minus h1 gives delta h that is change in enthalpy minus second bracket will remain as it is okay now uh, such a type of calculation we have also seen in helmholtz free energy now under isothermal conditions t1 is equal to t2 so it is equal to t because temperature remains constant now therefore equation 2 becomes delta g is equal to delta h as temperature is constant we have taken it outside and in bracket there is a h2 minus s1 so it gives us delta s so finally we have equation delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s this is our third equation now we have to see or we have to study the physical significance of delta g at constant temperature and constant pressure as follows okay so what result will we get it will be the physical significance of delta g now see at constant temperature we know that t delta s is equal to qr so this is nothing but thermodynamic definition of entropy so this part we have also studied in the helmholtz free energy so we know that Uh, thermodynamic definition of entropy is entropy is ds is equal to dq reversible upon t now instead of ds there is delta s instead of dq there is qr and temperature as it is so that equation on rearrangement gives us t delta s is equal to qr now also when the pressure is constant see in helmholtz free energy we have considered only temperature is constant here we are considering temperature as well as pressure is constant now when pressure is constant we have a new relation now change in enthalpy that is delta h is equal to delta u plus p delta v now this equation we have to remember when the pressure is constant we have relation delta h is equal to delta u plus p delta v now just put these two values that is of delta h and t delta s into the equation 3 so this is our equation we have to put these two values into the equation 3 so we get delta g is equal to delta u plus p delta v minus qr okay now we have to just rearrange this equation so we get delta g is equal to take minus sign outside the bracket and in bracket there is qr minus delta u minus p delta v so these two equations are not different 
in first equation there is a negative sign to the qr here also negative sign to the qr then delta u it is positive here here minus minus will delta u become plus then p delta v is also positive here minus minus we will get plus so these two equations are same we have just rearranged them for the convenience now what convenience see by the first law of thermodynamics we have qr minus delta u is equal to wm so this relation it is a first law of thermodynamics mathematical statement of first law of thermodynamics what is the statement qr minus delta u is equal to wm so just put this value into the equation for you so we get delta g is equal to in bracket uh, in outside bracket negative minus sign remain as it is and in bracket now instead of qr minus delta u we have to put wm minus p delta v remain as it is so finally we have equation delta g is equal to minus in bracket wm minus p delta v this is our equation 6 now this equation we can also write as minus delta g is equal to wm minus p delta v just we have taken a negative sign to the delta g so minus delta g represents the decrease in gibbs free energy okay so what is the conclusion from this equation c here minus delta g represents the maximum net energy at constant temperature and pressure available for doing useful work okay that is the net available energy so net available energy under the specified conditions results from a decrease in the free energy content of the system on passing from the initial to the final state so this is the significance of delta g now see here carefully that delta g so we have derived this final equation so delta g have negative sign and it is equal to wm minus p delta v now what is wm that wm is the maximum work okay and minus p delta v it is the pressure volume work so both are the work now what i have written here see minus delta g represents the maximum net energy so g is the gibbs free energy okay it is a maximum net energy at constant temperature and pressure available for doing useful work so when we uh, minus the pressure volume work from the maximum work we get the energy available for doing maximum work see that is the net available energy under the specified conditions results from a decrease in the free energy content of the system on passing from the initial to the final state so in simple see the maximum work minus the pressure volume work gives us the uh, energy that is minus delta g to perform a useful work so this is the significance of the gibbs free energy thank you